Northrop Grumman and the U.S. Air Force have shown the B-21 Raider stealthy long-range bomber to the public for the first time. The December 2 event took place under darkening skies at the manufacturer's plant at Poundale Airport in California and was attended by Northrop Grumman staff and senior military and government officials, including Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in well than three decades, stated Austin. It is a monument to America's continuing advantages in intellect and innovation. The aircraft, he went on to say, is deterrence the American way. This isn't just another airplane. It's not just another acquisition. It's the embodiment of America's determination to defend the republic that we all love. It's a testament to our strategy of deterrence, with the capabilities to back it up, every time and everywhere. Prior to the unveiling, Omer flights were performed by the USAF's current trio of bombers, the Boeing B-52H and B-1B and the Northrop Grumman B-2A. The two latter types are scheduled to be replaced by the B-21, although the B-52 will continue to serve alongside the new bomber as the veteran passes its 80th birthday. During the carefully managed live-streamed ceremony, the drapes were lifted off the B-21 as it was towed out of its hangar, before being pushed back in again. The late evening timing may have been chosen to avoid any inadvertent photography of the aircraft's rear end. During the rollout ceremony of the B-2 in November 1988 Aviation Week, obtain aerial photos of the B-2 from a light aircraft. This time, the audience was only afforded a head-on view of the B-21, which confirmed that the aircraft is superficially similar to the B-2, albeit appearing to be slightly smaller. The most obvious difference is that the Pratt & Whitney engines, believed to be adaptations of the F-35's F-135 power plant, are buried deeper in the blended wing, with less prominent intakes and resulting in a bulkier lower space. The cockpit windows are of a more complicated form, and the main landing gear components have two wheels instead of four. The B-21 is the outcome of the Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB program, for which requests for proposals were released in July 2014. Northrop Grumman was awarded the development contract in October 2015. The Raider name was conferred in 2016. Air Force Global Strike Command aims to procure at least 100, with service entrants projected around 2026-2027. They will first replace the B-1B, followed by the B-2A Ellsworth AFB in South Dakota, currently home to B-1Bs, has been picked to be the initial major operating facility and to house the training unit, while Dias AFB, Texas B-1B, and Whiteman AFB Missouri B-2 have been designated as preferred operational locations for further units. Northrop Grumman has six B-21s in various stages of manufacture at Palmdale, including the aircraft presented at the ceremony. While they are to be classified as test pieces, they are being made utilizing production tools and techniques by the production crew to minimize excessive expenses when the program advances into the production phase. No date has been established for the maiden flight, which will be driven by data and events. However, it is projected to occur sometime in mid-2023. In completing the event, Kathy Warden, Northrop Grumman Chair, CEO, and President, remarked, the next time you see this plane, it'll be in the air.